let's start with the accounts accounts part okay so in the previous class we were discussing the basis of accounting wherein we have uh, understood that the main purpose of accounting is to determine the profits earned or losses incurred by the business during the year and uh, the profit or losses of a business can be determined either on the basis of the cash basis accounting or on accrual basis accounting and after that we have start uh, understanding we have started understanding what is cash basis accounting so cash basis of accounting is a system in which transactions are recorded when cash is received or paid right and under this system entry is not recorded merely on the basis of uh, uh, payment or receipt is due but it will only be recorded after the payment is received or the payment is made income is received or payment is made sorry now uh, other than this we have also understood the revenue is recognized at the time when cash is received and not at the time of sales expenses are recorded only at the time of actual payments okay and uh, i have also told you that in the cash basis accounting we don't record these transactions we cash basis accounting does not uh, take into account the outstanding expenses prepaid expenses accrued incomes and income received in advance are not considered one of the advantage of the cash basis accounting i have told you that it is very simple as it does not requires the adjustment for the any outstanding expense prepaid expenses and things like those this is also suitable for uh, such enterprise uh, wherein the transactions uh, are mostly taken into taken on the basis of cash and there are few demerits i think uh, i have told you two demerits are there it does not give a true and fair view of the enterprise it does not give you the true and fair picture of the profit and losses incurred by the firm and it does not also it does not follow the matching principle that says the uh, income or the expenses of a particular period should be recorded uh, in the accounts of the of that particular period only okay <clears throat> other than this we have also covered the accrual basis accounting under the accrual basis of accounting revenue is recognized when sales and sales take place or ownership of the goods or services changes that means the transactions are uh, mostly done on the due basis or received basis whichever is earlier if the payment is received or due whichever is earlier we will be recording the transaction in the books of account accrual basis of accounting is based on the realization matching principle and just opposite of the cash basis it record the transaction re relating to the outstanding expense prepaid expense accrued income income received in advance advantage of this system is that that it gives the complete picture of the financial transaction of the business as it takes into account every every kind of transaction and uh, this also gives you the true position true picture of the profit and loss of the profit and loss of the business but one of the demerit of this this uh, accounting is that it is not simple as it is not as simple as the cash book firstly the second thing is that it takes uh, a lot of time to prepare the accounts in as per the accrual basis and it gets lengthy quick appraisal of the profit and loss account is not possible you you won't be able to ascertain the profit or loss of the business uh, quickly it will take time to calculate the profit or loss of the firm according to the accrual basis then we have i think we have uh, differentiated between the accrual and the accounting uh, cash cash basis accounting on the basis of recording recording of transaction then on the basis of prepaid outstanding expenses then on the basis of profit and losses which give the true and fair view of the business then legal position acceptability suitability all of these things we have covered in the last class so firstly before proceeding further with the topic do you want to ask anything you have any doubt samiksha halima peer steve anybody have any question regarding the topic that we have already discussed It's clear, sir. You have doubt? Sorry, it's clear. Okay, all right. So I gave you. I think I gave you one question as homework. Have you guys done that? Samiksha, you did the homework. Halima, 
होमवर्क इज डन ये सुनो I think I gave you three or four questions as homework. Samiksha, am I audible? No, because I'm not able to hear you. I think Samiksha is not there. Sir. Yes, Samiksha. Yes, sir. You you did the homework? Ah uh, yes, sir, I did it. All right. So you have any problem regarding the? Yes, sir. Okay, Halima. Yes, sir. You did the question. Yes, that day homework I did. Sorry. I did homework. That three okay. questions. Okay. Peer, you were in the class. Uh, in the previous class. You did the previous class. Sir, no, sir. You didn't attend the previous class. Okay. All right, guys. So, firstly. See, we have covered a lot of portion in the accounts. We have completed almost uh, the first term syllabus is almost done, uh, and I want because uh, as for the viva you you have given, the overall position of yours is not very very good, especially Steve and Peer. The situation, the overall status of yours is very bad. You are in poor category. so overall performance is not at all satisfactory you have to work hard a lot and we have covered a lot of portion i think we have covered nine chapters including this and uh, honestly speaking i think you are not one chapter is very well prepared steven peer so you guys have to work 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 a lot on your preparation and if if this is the way you guys are preparing i'm not sure what what will happen with you in the exams so make sure you revise enough number of time you are not revising at all yes, sir. okay so let's first of all let's do the question um, mcqs based on this particular chapter then we will be doing a few more uh, mcqs from few more chapters before starting anything new and i don't think we will be starting anything new in the, in today's session just a minute let me open the questions for you okay is the screen visible chapter basis of accounting yes sir yes, yes, okay. yes okay so halima will answer my first question under the cash basis of accounting expenses are recorded halima question is very easy and i hope i hope you can answer this option a option a samiksha yes what option which option is correct sir hello hello yeah Tell me your answer. Or uh, to be yes, given option. Yes, sir. When 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 the payment is done. All right. Correct. Okay. Let's move to the second question. Under the accrual basis accounting, expenses are recorded on payment on being incurred, either A or B or none of these. Halima, please answer this question first. um option b option b okay and uh, halima oh, oh sorry samiksha yes sir being incurred right correct question number 3 accrual basis of accounting option a does not give a true and fair view of the profit and financial position b gives a true and fair view of the profit and financial position may or may not give a true and fair view of the profit and financial position none of the above halima will answer this first then samiksha will b b gives a true and fair view okay samiksha what is the correct answer according to you sir i feel it does give a true and fair view of profit and financial position mm hmm 
So okay. option D is correct according to you. Yes, sir. So I had a doubt between B and C for some time, but I feel it's B. Mm -hmm. And Halima, which is the option you chose? Sorry. Second one, B. B. Okay. So both of you are correct. All yes. right. Steve. Steve, please answer the question number four. Question number four. Accrual basis of accounting recognizes. Steve, you are able to hear me, no? Steve. B. B. Accrual basis of accounting recognizes accrued income and income received in advance. Samiksha, is this is the option B correct? Sir, I feel it's both A and B. Okay. And Halima? Option C. Option C. Correct. Perfect. Very good, Halima. Very good, Samiksha. So, Steve, outstanding expenses, prepaid expenses are considered, are taken into consideration while preparing the accounts on accrual basis. Accrued incomes and income received in advance is also taken into consideration. Hence, option A and option B both are correct. So that means option C will be the most more appropriate answer. Option C is the correct option. Let's move to the next question. Question number five under accrual basis of accounting. Halima, please answer this. Option A. Option A. Samiksha. Yes, sir. Both questions credit. Okay, Steve. Steve, answer, please. Unmute yourself and please answer. A. Okay. A. A is the correct answer, guys. What are the two bases of accounting? Uh, please answer Peer. Peer, please answer this question. Yeah. What are the two bases of accounting? Please answer. Do, do it fast. Come on. Both A and B. Both A and B. Correct. Okay. Halima. Oh, question number seven, the accounting system in which accounting entries are made on the basis of amount become due or payment or payment or receipt is known as. Cash Halima, system do it of accounting. Cash system of accounting. Okay. Samiksha. The accrual system of accounting. Accrual system of accounting is more appropriate because see, here it is written, written that accounting entries are made on the basis of amount due or payment receipt. Amount due or payment received. That means either amount is due or the payment received, the, uh, the, the transaction will be taken into consideration. So in the accrual system of accounting, this is done. In case of cash basis accounting, on the basis of receipt and payment uh, the transaction that, that 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 involves the payment or receipt only taken into consideration. Not transaction are not recorded on due basis. All right. Okay. So let's move to the next question and this. Am I audible, everyone? I think there is some connection problem from my yes, side. Yes, sir. Now you're audible. Yes. Okay. 
so uh, i was asking question uh, from samiksha yes samiksha can Sir, you answer feel, is it a result in higher income than cash basis of accounting okay result in higher accrual basis accounting result in higher income than cash basis of accounting Sir, i had a doubt between a and c mm -hmm. complete information also but then um, we had an example where accrual basis of accounting has higher income Hmm. Okay. So that's so. Uh, that that does not have happen always. Always, yeah. That's why. Yeah. Um, sir, is it C? Yeah. Option C is okay. correct. So leads to reporting or reporting of more complete information. This, yeah, this complete video. information. Okay. All right. So the last question in this chapter is question number nine. Halima will answer this, please. Halima, question nine. Which accounting method is recognized by the Companies Act 2013? Option A. Option A. Correct. All right, guys. So that is it all about this particular chapter. We have also done the MCQs, ba MCQs based on this chapter. And this is a type of question that is generally asked from this, from this particular chapter as MCQs. Okay. And... Uh, now we will be Samiksha, you were saying about uh, the few chapters you want to do the MCQs for. Yes, sir. Can you tell me now? Uh, one minute, sir. I think the uh, accounting question you have also mentioned. Yes, sir. Accounting equation I have a doubt in the MCQs. Okay, and? Journal entry also. Journal. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's first do the uh, the question accounting equation part. Sir, question and based. also these type of questions where um, capital will be opening capital will be given and loss and profit will be given, like that type of MCQs. In the accounting equation? No, like um, I forgot which chapter that was, uh, where all the opening capital and um, closing capital will be given, and we have mm -hmm. to find like. The for the with the formula we have to find the profit and loss like that, uh, drawings and all that. Okay, I'm not able to. Sir, so one minute. I'll find the chapter and I'll tell you. Okay, no problem. But but for the time being, let's let's uh do the yes, question sir. based on the accounting question. Then we will move to the journal, and then yes, then you can tell me your uh, particular doubt. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay, all right. So we will start from the first question. That this is very very easy, and I guess uh, the peer can also answer this. Which of the following equation is correct, peer? Out of the given option, which yeah. is the correct for the accounting equation? Yes, None please. Sorry. None of these. None of these is the correct. I don't know what is happening today. Sir, please, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. yes, sir no. okay, Samisha, can you answer this question, please? Oh, sir, assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. Yes. Option B is correct. Peer? C. Sir, uh, I, then after I didn't see question, I said B. Sorry? Sir, afterwards I said B, sir. Afterwards you said B. So it, yeah. it is clear, no, now? Yes, sir. Do I need to explain this? No, sir, I understood, sir. Okay. But I didn't see that, so I said no. Okay. 
no problem let's move to the next question and uh, halima will first answer this halima please answer answer this question yes halima you are able to see the question no yes second question i can see yes please answer the correct option everyone else please also focus on the question yes sir option a option a okay yes samiksha yes sir a is correct Okay, Peer. According to you, yes, sir. A, sir. A, and how A is correct, Peer? Sir, because when we add lab, we get the we so get the, the value of the asset. Okay, correct. Good, nice. Okay, uh, this question number three is I guess very easy. Amount withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use will affect the cash and capital. How it will affect the cash and capital? it will basically decreases the value of cash yes and, sorry and as well as it will decrease the value of decrease capital decrease the capital also. okay all right let's move to the fifth question okay so the fifth question is the liability of a firm is 3000 the capital of the proprietor is 7000 total assets are halima will answer this First, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay, Peer. Sir, one minute. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Samiksha. Yes, ten thousand. Peer, sorry. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Steve. Steve. Question number six. X commenced business on first April two thousand thirteen with a capital of six lakh on thirty first March two thousand fourteen. His assets were worth rupees eight lakh and liabilities were fifty thousand. Find out his closing capital. So Samiksha will answer this first. Please Samiksha answer this. Yes sir. we want to calculate the total uh, we want to calculate the closing capital yes sir sir i am getting 750000 mhm mm okay halima a hey. okay peer okay peer yes sir is it a a yes, okay a is the correct answer 750000 is the correct answer <clears throat> okay now next question an increase in one asset is accompanied by sir, all of the all of these all of these okay uh samiksha Answer. All of these. All of these. Halima. Option D. Option D. Correct. All of these is the correct option because any increase in the one, uh, one asset may lead to decrease in the another asset. It may also lead to increase in the liability. It may also lead to increase in the value of capital. Sir, may right? Not always. Yeah, that is yes, what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. Okay, next uh, let's do the question number nine. Purchase of machine by cash means, uh, Samiksha. Purchase of machine by cash means increase in asset and decrease in asset. Increase in asset and decrease in asset. Okay. 
uh, Peer, please answer this. Yes, sir. Sir, can you speak, sir? Sorry? Yes, sir. Now. I'm not able to sir. hear you properly. Can you speak aloud? Yes, sir. Uh, increase in asset and de decrease in asset. Can you hear, sir? Uh, sir, can you hear me? Sir, we can't hear you. Yes, sir, we can't. Can you hear me, sir? Can anyone hear me? No, we can't. You can't hear me? We can hear you, we can't hear, sir. Okay. Hello everyone, am I audible now? Yes, sir, we can yes, hear you now. I don't know what is happening today. Sometimes it's internet, sometimes it's my mic. Okay, so I was asking about the question number 13. So this is the question uh, and in this question, we need to find out the closing capital and the profit. So I guess you must have calculated uh, till this point. So first of all, tell me, uh, Peer will answer me. Peer. Yes, sir. Closing capital in this question and the profit in this question. Profit and loss in this question. Okay, sir. Hmm. <clears throat> sir, two lakh twenty-five thousand. Two lakh twenty-five thousand will be. Uh, the uh, remaining capital. Closing, closing capital. capital. Yeah, okay. And the profit and, and loss? The profit and loss will be 75,000. Okay, so the correct, correct option will be? A B. D. B. B. B for ball, okay. Yes, sir. Samiksha, is he right? Is he correct? Yes, sir. B is correct. Okay, all right. Halima, your answer is same as well? Yes, sir, same. Okay. All right, let's move to the Next question. Question number 14. Owner's capital in the beginning was 45,000. Creditor at the end is 30,000. Revenue during the period is 65,000. Expenses during the period is 40,000. Total equity at the year end will be mm -hmm. who will answer me samiksha sir two minutes sorry Sir, two minutes. Just... Okay. Sir, can you say something? Sir. sir? Yes. Yeah, yeah sir. Yeah. Sir? Mm -hmm. Is it 1,20,000? 1,20,000? Sir, my okay. uh, account. Just... Okay, Halima? A. A. One lakh. 
Okay, yes. can you tell me the calculation? How did you calculate one lakh? His creditors uh, and revenue all that. And Samiksha, can you tell me how did you calculated the one lakh twenty thousand? So first I uh, revenues, asset and uh, liability uh, creditors. So I got thirty five thousand, and uh, then I added added the capital and um sorry um wait 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 I um yeah I added the expenses and this one so I got seventy five thousand seventy five thousand plus forty. Seventy-five thousand plus forty thousand. I got one lakh twenty thousand. Okay, just a minute. Let me also calculate. So the in the question. Same. I think mine is wrong. I'll just revenue. In the question, revenue is given how much? Sorry. Uh, sixty sixty-five thousand. Sixty-five thousand is the revenue, and the expenses there is. Uh, forty thousand. Forty thousand is the expense, all right. And by reducing the expenses from the revenue, we will get thirty-five thousand as the profit, right? Yes, sir. This will be our profit. Thirty-five thousand okay. is the profit. Okay. And do you know what is the formula for calculating the profit? We will we calculate the profit also by uh, reducing the uh, opening capital from the closing capital. Yes, sir. So closing minus. Opening. Just a minute. Equals to ten thousand profit. So, how much we have the opening capital given in the question? Forty-five thousand. Forty-five thousand. Okay, and the profit that we have earned during the year is thirty-five thousand. That means our closing capital will be ten thousand. Yes, sir. Ten thousand. So. Closing capital is ten thousand. All right. Now, in order to find out the total equity, total equity basically means liability plus capital. That is the total equity. So, in order to find out the value of total equity, we will simply add the closing capital with the creditors. So, creditors in the question given as how much is the value for the creditors? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll show you the calculation. Just a minute. Let me cal finalize this. Credit creditor thirty thousand, and the closing capital we have is ten thousand. So we will simply add this. So we should have. Uh, but the answer is not matching. Just I think there is some mistake. So can you show the calculation, son? Just a minute. Okay. So this is the calculation. Samisha, how much you are getting the answer? Sir, I feel mine is wrong. So I just do it again. Okay. So I think this should be the calculation for the total equity. So we have a uh, revenue in the question sixty five thousand, expenses forty thousand. So that means we will get thirty five thousand as our profit, and. Uh, sir, how sir, is it? Sir, how is it ten thousand? Sir, shouldn't it be eighty thousand? Hmm. Oh, okay. Sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Capital should be. Yes, yeah. you were saying so. I thought it is ten thousand. Okay, no eighty thousand. Yeah, this should this should sir, be. Sir, I couldn't 000. see the calculation. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry. So eighty thousand should be here, and when we add, uh, just a minute. This is closing capital. No, eighty thousand plus thirty thousand. It should be one lakh ten thousand. So yes, I guess sir. this still we are not getting the answer. So then the answer should be none of the above, right? Yeah, in that case, none of the above is the correct answer. So one lakh ten thousand guys is the correct answer, but in as per the options given, we don't have any one lakh ten thousand as option. Therefore, none of the none of these will be the correct answer. Okay, let's move to the next question.
Uh, so profit is equal to revenue minus expenses. Uh -huh. And uh, profit is equal to closing capital minus opening capital. Uh -huh. Also. Also, and one more thing, the last one. Hmm. And the total equity is equal to creditors plus profit. Uh -huh. No. Creditor yeah. plus, no, plus capital. Liability uh, ca closing plus capital. capital. Liability plus capital. Liability plus capital. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, I think this will take some time. So let's skip the question number 15 for now. Can you calculate this question number 15, Samiksha and uh, everyone else? Yes. Financial position of the Surbhi as on 1st April 2018. This is the, this is at the beginning of the year. The, uh, the, at the beginning of the year, we have the plant stock creditors, bank overdraft, cash, debtors, bills, payable, investment, building. Her capital at the end of the year will be, what will be the capital? Plant, stock, all of, both of these are Asset, creditor, bank overdraft, liability, cash, debtor is asset again. Bills, paper is a liability. Investment is an asset. Building is an asset. Sir, mm -hmm. is it 169500? 169500. Okay. Halima, tell me your answer, please. I'm calculating. All right. Do it fast, please. Peer. Sir, one sir. Okay. So, so, Misha, how did you calculate the answer? Can you tell me, please? Sir, I uh, first organized all and took assets and liabilities. So what will be the total value of the asset? You have added um, plant, 22,000. Yeah, yeah. Then 45,000 for the stock, it will be... And then, uh, for how much it will be? 67,000. Then debtors, 27,900. Then cash, 15,000. And cash, yes, sir. And finally, the investment in the building also. So 220,600 is the okay. asset. Okay. And out of the value of the asset, you have reduced the value of the liability liabilities. So the remaining will be the value of the capital yeah. at the end yes, of the year. Sir. Okay. And the answer is sorry. One six nine five zero zero. You are getting the same I'm answer. Getting same. Yes. All right. Peer, you are also getting the same answer. Sir, no, sir. you will definitely say yes. Peer, no, you are getting the same answer. No, sir. You are not getting the same answer. Oh my God. And what is your answer? Sir, I didn't calculate it. Oh, oh. 
all right so uh, please calculate it and i am pretty sure that you will get the same answer as well 169500 is the correct answer in this question okay okay guys so just a minute Let's move. Let's uh, do the question from the journal also. Just a minute. So Samiksha wanted to do. Oh, sir, the accounting equation. I can. Can you continue? You want to continue the accounting equation? So I'll hope. Yes, sir. It's fine. It again. Okay, no problem. Let me open this. Okay, so question number. Question sixteen. Sir, we can't see the. Sir, the screen is not visible. It. Okay, okay, okay. Just a minute. And uh, okay, so question number sixteen is this visible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let me zoom in. Yes. Interest on drawing charge is fifteen hundred in accounting division. It will be shown as. Halima will answer this first, then Samiksha, and then Peer and Steve. Halima, please answer. Interest on drawing charged fifteen hundred. How this will affect the accounting equation? Halima. Option D. Option. Option. Which option? Sorry. D. Option D. Decreases capital and cash by fifteen hundred. Okay. Uh, Samiksha. Sir, is it increase and decrease capital by one thousand five hundred? Increase and decrease in capital. Okay. Uh, and Peer. Yes, sir, increase and decrease in capital. Sir. Increase and decrease in capital by five hundred. Okay. And anyone else, Steve? Can you answer this? All right. Never mind. Uh, option D is the correct option. Everyone, decrease in capital and and sorry. Uh, decrease. Uh, just a minute. Sir. Just a minute. Let me check. Yes, Samiksha, please. Yeah, so when we were doing the accounting equation for this, mm -hmm. uh, we you had I remember you were saying that interest on drawings we we add in first first we add to the capital and then we subtract also. Interest on drawing. Yeah, yeah. Is first added to the capital. Why it it should be added to the capital? So because it's interest, right? Interest on drawing uh, is applicable on the. uh basically the the amount that has uh, that is withdrawn by the owner on that particular amount we will we are charging the interest so that will reduce the overall capital of the owner no so i don't think i have i i i, I have said anything like so this because i remember there was one interest thing uh, interest on this one and we add for because we add and subtract and it remains same the capitals i'm not able to recall this but uh, for, uh, for for out of the given option which option is correct 
uh, interest on drawing charge 1500 in accounting division will be interest on drawing. So first of all, this will increase the amount of cash available in the business. Right. And because it is also expense, so this should reduce the amount of capital. So increase uh, and decrease capital by 1500. Yes, sir. I remember we'll be doing adding so, and subtracting yeah, so from capital. I think, I think 16 is the correct, correct, uh, B is the correct option. B is the correct option because we, in case of interest on drawing, we, once we decrease the capital and uh, then we increase the capital by the same. Yes. Amount, right. Okay. So option B is the correct option. Next. Uh, option, D. option D is not correct. Decrease capital and uh, can, see, first of all, cash will, will not decrease in any manner. Yes, sir. Cash will cash decrease. cannot decrease. No? So option D is incorrect. Let's go to the question number 17. And Halima, please answer this. An expansion of the accounting equation is shown as. Expansion of the accounting equation is shown as. Profit and loss. No. No. Halima. Oh, Samiksha. Sir, is it balance sheet? Yes. And I remember that uh, in while we were doing the question based on the accounting question, uh, I think in one or two questions I have also prepared, I've also asked you to prepare the balance sheet. In fact, I have shown you how we can prepare the balance yes, sheet. Sir at the after the completion of the final accounting equation so uh, balance sheet and uh, account expansion of the accounting equation is the balance sheet so balance sheet is the correct option okay let's go to question number 19 finding opening find opening capital find opening capital in the question number 19 Halima will answer this first, then Peer, then Samiksha. Finding opening capital. This one is easy. Halima, please answer. Yes, sir. Please answer. Halima. One twenty. I mean, option A. One lakh twenty thousand. One lakh twenty thousand. Okay. Okay. Close enough. All right. Halima. Oh, sorry. Uh, Samiksha. Sir, I got one lakh seventy thousand. Okay, Peer. Peer. One lakh seventy. One lakh seventy thousand is the correct. See, uh, Halima, how do you calculate the capital first of all? In order to calculate the capital, we will simply reduce the value of creditor from the assets, right? From four lakh, from uh, four lakh, we will subtract two lakh forty fifty five thousand. We will get one lakh forty five thousand as the as the value of capital, right? And I think you yes. must have done this uh, till this point. You must be correct. One lakh forty-five thousand is the capital. Now, in order to find out the opening capital, remember the formula: closing capital minus opening capital, we get profit. Closing minus opening equals to profit. So, in order to find out the value of opening capital, we will simply add profit into the closing capital. Closing capital plus profit equals to opening capital. Halima, is this clear? Okay. So when we add yes. 25,000 in 1 lakh 45,000, we will get 1 lakh 70,000 as our opening capital. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay. All right. So this was the last question in the accounting equation, Samiksha. Yes. And I hope uh, now everything that we have discussed in the accounting equation and the question that we have discussed is clear to all of you and, and there is no doubt in it. Yes, you want to other than this you want to ask anything else no, no sir. sir 
So, Samisha, you were you were talking about some profit and other calculations. Yes, sir. This was the formula that profit is equals to that. Um, okay, so basically, you were capital. you were talking about yeah. the accounting question only. These questions, yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, guys. So I think this is it for today's session. Today we we have discussed the uh, MCQs based on the basis of accounting and also uh, questions based on the account accounting equations. All right. So. Uh, tomorrow we will probably we will start a new chapter and make sure guys every one of you i'm requesting all of you especially steve peer because your overall the overall status of yours is very weak very poor you have to work work a lot so make sure you revise the chapters that we have already done especially the journal entries the bank reconciliation statement so these are this uh, out of all these all the chapter that we have discussed these are the very very important chapter bank reconciliation statement and the journal entries yes, so make sure you revise these chapter keep work uh, and keep revising these chapter continuously all right so tomorrow yes. also we will be doing questions based on uh, we will uh, do few questions based on the journal entry as well mcqs that we will be discussing from that chapter also and other than that we we will try to start a new chapter tomorrow Yes, Peer. The journal entry, like uh, you will, uh, you can, uh, you can account, uh, you can uh, open a book for anything, like uh, for machine account or anything. You can uh, use journal entry. Yes, we can. Uh, we can journalize uh, like the transaction factory, for everything. Uh, if you are working in factory, you can use journal entry for calculating. In every situation, we can journal. We can do the journal. Okay. Journal is something. Journal is the uh, journal is the primary book. That means every transaction are for the very first time. Whenever it is to be recorded, it it will be recorded in the journal only. Yes, so journal journal entry is done in every case. All right. Thank you so much, Samiksha, Chief, Halima, and Peer. You want to ask anything? Any doubt? Anyone, any, any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. For, so thank you very much, everyone. This is it for today's session. We will continue from this point onwards in the next class. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Allah Hafiz.